Hello students, my name is Sarapreet Kaur and I am a facilitator in ML Khanna Devi Public School, Dwarka, New Delhi. So students, the topic that we are going to talk about today is air. We will be doing different activities as well as experiments. Now students, as you can see in this picture, there is a kite, there is a hot air balloon, there is a boat, there is a balloon and there's the windmill now the question is what makes all these things move the answer is air air is everywhere it is all around us we cannot see the air but we can feel it so students there's a small little activity that we all can do that is Hold up both your hands in front of your face and wave them. Can you feel the air? The answer is no. Now, blow onto your hands. What do you feel? Yes, now you can feel the air on your hands. Yes? Let's do another activity. That is, take a sheet of colored paper. With the help of your parents, fold the paper back and forth to make a fan. Right? Can you feel any air blowing if you hold the fan in your hand without waving it? Wave it and find the answer. But first of all, let's watch a video to see how to make a fan. The next topic that we are going to learn about air is why do we need air? All living things need air to live. Animals and plants need air to breathe. Air helps in movement. 
sailboats and ships move on water with the help of air airplanes and parachutes need air to fly air also helps birds to fly in the sky you must have seen birds in the sky so with the help of the air the birds are able to fly and also if you fly a kite in the sky it is with the help of the air that the kite is able to fly in the fly in the sky if there is no air then the kite won't be able to fly in the sky let's do some interesting experiments to learn the uses of air in the first experiment we are going to learn that air occupies space for that the materials that you will require is a glass a tub of water and a tissue paper now let's watch a video to understand the concept a little better begin by filling a large container full of water next tear off a section of paper towel and stuff it into the bottom of the glass carefully turn the glass upside down carefully lower the glass inside straight down into the water ensure that the glass does not tip to the side pull the glass straight out of the water ensure that the glass does not tip to the side then carefully remove the paper towel from the glass once you remove the paper towel you will find that it is still dry even though you just submerged it into the water students i hope you enjoyed doing the experiment now let's find the answer why don't the tissue in the glass get wet the answer is even though the paper towel was under water it stayed dry this is because of the air that is also in the glass when the glass is lowered into the water the air is trapped inside and has nowhere to go because of this the air pushes the water away as the glass is lowered when the air pushes the water away it keeps the water from touching the paper towel that is why the paper towel stays dry and it also explains that air occupies space let's do the next experiment which tells that air has weight the materials that are required for this experiment are two balloons a stick 1 meter long a pin and a string while doing this experiment do take the help of your parents student let's start with the experiment take a stick which is 1 meter long tie a string in the middle of the stick take two blown up balloons and tie their strings at the two ends of the stick as shown in the video once you've done this balance the stick by shifting the positions of the balloons once they are balanced take a pin and prick one of the balloon so air may slowly escape from it now when all the air has escaped from one balloon the other balloon with air in it goes down and the stick is not balanced now so by this we can conclude that air has weight students i hope you enjoyed the activities and the experiments that we did today happy learning and experimenting thank you